Listen, man. <sighs> Who's to blame for all this? Because we didn't answer that question. Who's to blame? For all this, right? Like, who's who's at fault? Who's to blame? Because I hear, I hear, I you know, shout out to Coach when he does his calling show. People call in and say, uh, both of the blame. Oh, you know, they both can take a little bit of blame, or nobody's to blame. This is just business, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I have an answer, but but first, uh, I'll go around and and, and let's, let's see what you know what you guys have to say. Hendo, we'll start with you. Who's to blame for for this debacle? It's the Ravens. <laughs> Of course they're to blame. Listen, and if you haven't heard, Quincy, he eloquently broke it down today. He said, listen, Lamar Jackson came in the same time that Josh Allen came in. As soon as Josh Allen got his contract redone, the Ravens should have went right behind and did the same thing. Maybe added a million, 500,000 on to make it a little bit more enticing because he was a league MVP. You had that opportunity, but the Ravens looked at that situation and was like, we're not paying Lamar all of that money which I didn't understand myself because, of course, the market goes up every year. So if you didn't think you were going to pay him that much money then, what did you think was going to happen in the years to come? So in my personal opinion, it is the Ravens' fault. And I know people are going to say, well, it's Lamar's fault for not accepting certain con uh, certain contracts with stipulations. And that's the one thing, stipulations. They're not guaranteeing him anything. I know everybody's going to say, well, you know, all he said is he has to be on the roster in 2026, the fifth day of the league year. In business, when businesses and teams decide they don't want you anymore, they will cut you the fourth day just so they don't have to give you that money. They cut their car the same day. They cut exa <laughs> exactly. So, th so those are those are those type stipulations that Lamar doesn't want in his contract. Either you believe in me or you don't believe in me. And I think all along the raises have shown they don't believe in him. So he's like, look, if you don't feel the same way that I feel about you, let me go. Let me find another partner. That's willing to dance with me the way that I dance. Because apparently y'all still in the 1920s waltzing. All right, Mikey, what say you? You know who I think is the blame. Lamar Jackson. No, <laughs> I can't. Uh, look, man, the Ravens blew this, right? Uh, Stevie Wonder can see. And look, there's no shot because he's my favorite artist. But Stevie Wonder can see that they blew this. Every other team in their situation took advantage of their star quarterback being on a, a rookie deal, right? Not only did they surround said players with talent, uh, when they came up, they took care of them. Like you said, Hendo, two years ago, whatever it was, Josh Allen got what? What was it, six, 169 or was it 149? It was funny. Once All again, right. like, like Jose always says, when quarterback, when people get paid for what they do well, nobody remembers. Yeah. Right. So, so you you know, up until this point, right, it was all it, – every contract, especially at the quarterback position, was going the same way, okay? If y'all remember, going back to that time, everybody was saying, oh, man, these guys are playing possum. You know, Baker's waiting to see what Lamar get. Lamar's waiting to get see what Baker get. They're both waiting to see what Josh Allen gets. Up until this point, all contract, especially quarterbacks, the next man up set the market. Right, if Josh Allen, let's say he got 150, Lamar Jackson might get 153 or 155, and the next person might get 160. It's just how it works. But they missed that opportunity. The Ravens have this arrogance with them, and they've done this with all of their star players. Go back and check back to Ray Lewis, who is some say is the greatest player to ever play or put on a Ravens uniform. They did the same thing with him. Right, Joe Flacco. They could have signed Flacco for way less than they ended up paying him. But you know what they did? Nah, we ain't gonna pay you that. Then the brother went and won the Super Bowl, and you had to pay him double that. Right? Thanks. They have this arrogance where they want you to show and prove before I pay you this money. Right? Like these players have not already shown and proved. Right? So this time it's turned around and bit them in their behind. They blew this. This was a golden opportunity. I can see if the Ravens, during the time period when Lamar was here and on his rookie deal, if they were spending money on and, and, and bringing in immense talent around them, and you can't come up with something, okay, man, well, look, they, they tried to do what they could do when they had him on that deal. This will go down as the biggest fumble in the NFL history. The biggest one. Not the even bigger than... Uh, 
dude that had the butt fumble or whatever. <laughs> Mark Sanchez. Mark this, <laughs> this will be the biggest fumble in NFL history if this does not get worked out because yeah. you have absolutely nothing to show. Even if you get two first-round picks, you have absolutely nothing to show. You're in a hole right now because you did not take advantage of him being on that contract like every other team did. Look at all the other teams. The Bills, they went and got uh, Diggs and all those other guys. Even even the Chargers went and paid their guys. Their wide receivers. Mike Mike Williams, Keenan Allen. They paid them all. We did not do it. So it's only one person you can look at in this situation or one uh, one side of this, and that that's the that's the organization side. They blew it. Either way, you cut the pie. They blew this. Facts. Facts. You know, for people for people that like stats, because you know some people are stats people. There has been one time in NFL history where there has been a franchise quarterback, first round pick, that is a Pro Bowler that did not get re-signed after his rookie deal, and that was Lamar Jackson in NFL history. The only one. <sighs> There you go. Look, it's all right there in front of you, man. B, you want to go, or should I go first so you don't steal my point? Me, B already knows what I'm going to say. Uh, I was going to say to, to for Mike's question that uh, Josh Allen signed a six-year, two hundred fifty-eight million dollar deal with one hundred fifty million guaranteed. Uh, I think that's the uh, fully guaranteed plus injury. I believe. Right. Okay. Could have had it for so much cheaper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the article talks about how Baker and Lamar were negotiating their extensions uh, with Cleveland and Baltimore, respectively, in 2021. Well, EDC one team one, again. one team got it right. <laughs> they sure did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So who is to blame? The answer is simple. Depends. <laughs> right it de- listen 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 there is no first of all first and foremost there's no blame on lamar now how much blame goes to the ravens or do the ravens get any blame completely depends on if they can turn things around fast enough if they say hey we're, we just don't want to pay lamar and they end up trading him to the colts for that number four pick and they're able to either move maneuver up to the third pick or stay at the fourth pick and get Bryce Young, you know, and Bryce Young is as good as advertised and the Ravens are still winning games and in the playoffs, then no harm done, right? Like they they still were able to maintain a playoff team, a winning team uh, with hopes of winning a Super Bowl with a young quarterback. And they could say, hey, it was just business, right? The Ra- you know, the Ravens didn't want to uh, pay him what he asked for and they parted ways and you know it's still business as usual around here but if they don't do that and the team is bad next year and the year after that and the year after that because not only are you not able to uh pick high enough in the draft to get a franchise quarterback there's also no quarterback that you're going to want to pay that's going to want to come here if that happens then it's all your fault. It is all your fault, Ravens, right? Lamar has no blame in this. He is not with the Baltimore Ravens. You tagged him. He's not signed to your team, okay? He's not under contract with your team. He is trying to get a new contract. You don't want to pay him what he asked for. It's within his rights to ask for that. It's within your rights to say no. But who's going? who is it going to damage more down the road? You, because you don't have an answer. Right, you can't even sign. Yo, you Nelson Aguilar is the best you can do right now. That's the best you can do in the offseason. You can't even sign anybody. You're bringing in Odell, hoping he takes his four million dollars or whatever competitive offer that he got. You can't build a team, right? You you haven't you don't even know if Tyler Huntley's gonna be on the team because he's a restricted free agent. He could be gone too. Then what are you gonna do? Right? So it all depends on for one year and three million, by the way. You said what? Marvin Jones just signed for yes. one year, three Detroit. million dollars. Detroit. <laughs> Listen, all right. So, 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 let's just say for kicks and giggles, right? That nobody's at fault. Let's just say no one's at fault. You know, it's just a part of business, and that's how things go for the first time in the NFL. But we, what we're doing is we're looking at the optics of it all. 
the Ravens have done irreparable damage to this organization. Because even if you let Lamar go and you get three or four first round picks and you draft his replacement, what you've now done throughout the league is no real free agent is going to want to come here. They're like, if you couldn't pay Lamar Jackson, why would I think they're going to pay me? So nobody's going to want to come to Baltimore, whether you keep Lamar or he goes somewhere else. The damage that you've done to your previous sterling reputation is now over with. Then with the, with the survey, it really put a damper into you. So, you know, win, lose, fault, no fault. The Ravens have kind of messed up the situation. Yeah.